In this video, we'll be discussing common registration issues you might encounter. Before attempting to register, please make sure your agent is up and running. If your agent is running, you'll be able to see it in the system tree. You can also find the agent process in your task manager. To make sure it's running. The agent is the local component of the test project platform and you'll need to have it installed and running prior to attempting to register. If your agent is running and you still can't register, try registering through Chrome's incognito mode without any extensions enabled, as they might cause problems during the registration process. The agent uses port 8585 for communication. You can use the following command in your terminal to check if that port is available. If the results of this command are empty, that means the port is indeed available. You can also navigate to localhost 8585 in your browser to see if your agent is really up and running. From here, you can see where your agent is installed, the agent data path containing the logs, and you can access the API Swagger, where you can see all the agent's endpoints. On Windows, by default, the agent is installed in C Program Files Test Project Agent. The logs are stored in the Agent Data folder. You can find it here. On Mac, the agent is just going to be installed as an application in your Finder. And on Linux, the default installation path is in the home directory. If you're using Linux, please make sure not to install the agent as root. By default, the agent uses port 8585, but you can change this by editing the agent configuration JSON at any of the following paths depending on your operating system. Simply head to the location of a file, open it, and change the port number here. If you're still having registration issues and are using a GPO, proxy, corporate proxy, or VPN, you or your IT can whitelist the following domains. After whitelisting the domains, try registering again. 